Well, I like the bank tax. I, I have a, a somewhat more, I hate to use the word radical, but a somewhat more uh, uh, oh, go effective, for it, let Jeff. Me call, Come on a now. somewhat more effective notion. And in fact, I, I was thinking about it and I had lunch with an old time Wall Street hand who brought it up, an excess profits tax, like as when we tax oil companies, when oil prices shoot up, why not tax temporarily all of these profits, which I, I think is a t totally sensible idea. Mm. The idea that they deserve them for taking risk, which is the mantra on Wall Street, is pretty close to nonsense. But you, already, me nonsense. but you already have, Jeff. You've already got news magazines with the cover, Obama equals Carter. I think it was Carter was the last guy that talked about an excess profit. Well, that <laughs> probably had to do with oil. Those were, that's when oil prices were. Uh, uh, rising rapidly. You know, I, I think the big Obama problem is not even specific policy. I don't believe Americans think he ha is a man of conviction any longer. I d he may be, but he's hardly persuasive about it. Nor he could he even be conservative. And it would be better than, you know, from our point of view, it would be better. Okay. Than and I couldn't agree with that more. I mean, I think the, the central problem with Obama, and this is what we saw in Massachusetts, all of the polls aside, is that he's not a leader. He, and, and America will forgive many things. Not being a leader isn't one of them. And uh, and and he has been his he has allowed uh, Congress and a handful of people in Congress to control his agenda when he has articulated his agenda. It has it has been mamby pamby at best, um, and uh, and he's shown no leadership. Yeah.